guys. Hi. So I know that it, everybody has probably already seen the October birch boxes that w came oh, out probably about a week, week and a half ago. Most yeah. people got them in the mail. Um, since we are a little late filming this video, we figured that we'd make this more of a review. Yeah. So we're going to just go ahead and launch <laughs> right into what we got. Yeah, we'll show you what we got. And this actually, is this the first time that our boxes are the exact same? It might be the first time. Aren't they the exact same? They yeah, are. but uh -huh. did we get an exact same one like the very remember. first month? I don't remember. I think there were, no, there's still something different. Okay. So yeah, so anyway. All right, so this box this month is called Prep and Finish. And it basically just says that with the changing of the, the seasons, with fall finally upon us, that this is our opportunity to try new products. So cool. Well, let's jump right in. Yeah. Uh, the first thing is the Ahava Mineral Foot Cream. Just a little thing like this. this is actually a really nice size sample. Um, you guys have seen that they've done Ahava, 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 <laughs> Ahava before. Um, they've both been like hand creams and body creams or whatever, but this is specifically a foot cream. Yeah, it says, after all those ouchy hours and high heels, our feet deserve a treat like this hydrating cream, which has natural avocado and jojoba oils to soften and soothe. It smells really good. Yeah. It smells it's, like a hot um, product, which is very... I actually expected it to kind of smell pe pepperminty, because a lot yeah, of times um, foot lotions do smell pepperminty, I'm I think, sure to make you guys your, how... to feel like revived, your feet feel like rejuvenated and stuff. I'll put it on my paws and not my hooves. He's trying to think. It's really thick. Yeah. So it's like a, a really nice thick foot cream. But it feels know. really good. And then I throw on socks after I slather my Yeah, me too. Feet. It's throw a good way to keep the moisture in. Yeah. So I like it. Yeah. So at first when I saw Ahava, I was kind of like, oh, we've gotten it before. But then it's a foot cream and I'm yeah. sorry, this time of year when you put your sandals away, yeah. everybody needs to go get a pedicure, feet take care of your feet, TLC. and then after your pedicure... Yes. Put this on and put the socks on like we do. Yes. And it'll make your feet nice and smooth. All right, the next thing is an Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. Now, you guys, I have already been using this for a couple of months, so I was super excited to see it when it came in, a, in the birch box because um, now I have a bonus one. But it is Groomed Brows Take Your Look from Pretty to Polish. This clear brow gel keeps hairs perfectly in place without any flaking or stickiness. And it's just a little little wand. Yeah, and obviously since I can, I've been using this for a couple of months, I can say that I do love it. I use it every day on my brows. I like it too. And I'm so excited because the one that I have is getting a little bit dried up, so I have a brand new one that I can dip into. I like the size of it. Mm -hmm. um, and I have mine on today. Yeah. Do you? My yeah. brows, our brows aren't going anywhere. No. In case there's a big gust of wind, we're, <laughs> we're set. Nothing like that is going to happen. Um, I like the size of it mm -hmm. because I've had the Maybelline one, mm -hmm. which is fine, but it's a really big tube. Yeah. So I kind of like this. I don't know. I like the smallness. It's Go in cute. your purse if you need it. Yeah. It is cute. I like the pack. I'm a sucker for packaging. I, I like would it. rebuy this definitely again and again and again. And they say that, um, I guess like a regular size is $21, so. Yeah. It's kind of expensive, but I bought mine in like an Anastasia Brow set, so it was just one component of like three or four things that came in the set. Yeah. But I love it. It's like literally every Yeah, she's talked day. about it before, so then when it came in the box, she was like, yippee, and then I got to try it, so. Yeah. Oh, and then, um... This, a full size is $19. Yeah, so there you go. Okay, the third thing is number four hair. It's Lumiere Diver Reconstructing Mask. Looks like so. This rich treatment does more than hydrate. Soy protein strengthens strands from the inside while light reflecting polymers add major gloss. It is super thick. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm, I'm actually... Put a little bit on your finger. Yeah. Like, look at that. It's so, it's like, um, really thick. Yeah, I literally, I, when you tip it upside down, it, not, yeah. It's like a McFlurry <laughs> not, or something. What are those things that you get, that you get Like a blizzard? Of? Yeah, a blizzard. <laughs> it is not going anywhere. No, um, so you actually have to, like, scoop your finger in there to, to yeah. get it out, but you didn't use very much when you used it. I, I just put, I just squished it. Oh, you squished it from the bottom? I don't know how it all got to the top, but. Mm. Yeah, you really enjoyed the smell, right? I really like the it's smell of it. very um, light. Light, very fresh, not too perfumey or anything. Um, what did you think? Because I think we well, both... Well, my thoughts, I just used it actually last night for the very first time so that I could review it today. And um, I feel like 
uh, maybe I didn't wash it out well enough. Again, I'm going to just blame myself. But I felt like today it left my hair feeling a little bit flat on top and a little limp. I, I don't know. I maybe have too much. feels a little maybe too heavy in, at, like, my roots. But okay. that might be user error. Well, I don't know. I used it two nights ago, and I did a normal wash wash and condition and then use this and basically you put it on your hair and you cover your wet hair evenly mm -hmm. and then you wait two to five minutes and you rinse it out that simple yeah. um i used it thursday night i didn't use any other products i dried my hair i don't know when this video is going up so two days ago mm -hmm. i used this um didn't use any products and woke up the next day and i actually thought my hair was Fuller. fluffy like fluffy though not uh full and like luxurious but a little bit fluffy where i was like let me try to bring it down yeah, a little bit. I don't know so I honestly don't opposite. know if it's that or if it's how I slept. Well, and I shampooed and then skipped my conditioner and instead used this and to replace my conditioner. Maybe I should have shampooed, conditioned as normal and used this as my yeah. third step. Um, or maybe I just didn't wash it out well enough, rinse it out well enough. But I will say that, um, so if I used it two nights ago, that... I thought it made my hair get oilier faster. That's the only thing that I did different to my mm -hmm. routine. And I thought my hair got a little oilier faster than it normally did. So, I don't know. Yeah, I think any sort of hair treatments or masks yeah. do tend to make your hair Because oilier. I feel that way about the last time I used the Aussie 3-Minute Miracle. I love that stuff, mm -hmm. but the last time I used it, I felt like I noticed that my hair got oilier faster. So, yeah, um, yeah maybe it is. Mm -hmm. Okay. But... It made it really soft, and I like the smell of it, so. Yeah. I didn't notice an extreme smell. It smells good. <laughs> but, um, I mean, I feel like my hair is soft, but I feel like yeah, hair is always so soft. Oh, Lord. <laughs> she does. She loves her products. She'll have to show you all this yeah. in there. Okay, the fourth product is Sunday Riley Modern Skin Care Juno Transformative Lipid Serum. It says that celebs and models swear by this Luke's cocktail of 13 essential oils, which absorbs instantly to replenish, firm, and protect skin. So this is for, like, your face, neck, and I think you can even put it on your decollete. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> now, you go first. What do you think of okay. the smell? Because I have a very specific smell that I associate to this. I feel like I need to put it on bread and eat it. Okay, I... It smells like food. It smells I like think oily it cookware. smells like um, fresh green beans that you saute in a pan. Hold very, on, very in. specific. I know, I'm crazy. But to me, I love getting like a big bunch of green beans at the grocery store, which I think that when you buy them at first, before you like rinse them and cook them, they smell a little bit like dirt. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> so then once you cook them, you maybe season them a little bit, um, it ends up smelling just like this. Yeah, it's... I think it smells really herbal. Let me smell it again. Yeah, green beans. I think er I think I think herbal. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I'll, I will show you this. Um, I don't think either one of us. I don't really want to waste a lot of it. Oh god, oh, yeah. it, it comes. Okay, first of all, it comes out a lot. Can you see that? It's straight it's up running. oil. Yeah, it's an oil. Um, and I felt a little bit weird about putting an oil on my face. It says it's a dry oil. It's a dry oil. Yeah, but I actually. I okay, here's the thing. I have used it since I got it at night and in the morning. I think I've missed a couple of times or whatever. But um, I actually like the way it feels. Yeah. I think you have to use it over and over and over again to really get... Um, Here, let me help sorry, you out. I have She's oil got running oil down running down her to head. To really feel like it's doing something because for a little thing of this, it's $125. So it's kind of like it better do its job for $125. But crazy. It's gotten such great reviews by celebrities, so I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to use it. I mean, I don't think I noticed that because I'm weird about the thought of putting an oil on my face, but then I don't walk around feeling like I have like... Yeah, it did not make my skin oily. oily. Um, I don't have oily skin to begin with, but it didn't increase the oil or anything. Mm. It didn't dry. It didn't have the opposite effect and dry it out. Um, but I'll tell you, for $125, mm -hmm. um, I'm probably going to go and get a La Mer facial something to try before I get a full size of this. Um, but I need to see this work over and over again because if it really works, I mean... I don't know. Cool, but I don't know. I, I can't say. It's, just it's really crazy. steep. Um, yeah. It says on here, a rare dry oil, absolute, what? 
A rare dry oil absolute <laughs> that gives skin an obsession-worthy glow. Is it just me or does that sentence not make sense? That's weird. That's, mm -hmm. Okay. Apply one to two pumps morning and night for ultimate radiance. And I'd say one pump is plenty. Yeah. It's a lot and it goes a long way. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure I look any more radiant. Oh, you look radiant every day. <laughs> but I definitely think it's something that you probably need. You know, skincare is a hard thing to review because you need to probably use it for yeah. like a, at least a month. Right. And we've um, only had these for about a week, so. Yeah. Oh, and I'm sorry. We keep forgetting. But I guess a regular size of the hair stuff, hair number four mask, is $58. Mm -hmm. Did we say yeah. that? No. I think we that's really steep, too. It's a little steep. Okay. okay, and then the last thing that came in this month's birch box, our little extra gift, was were the Tea Forte Mint Teas. It says, our new obsession, these tasty mints are infused with energizing yerba mate and rich cocoa. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know what yerba mate My is. My hands are oily. I can't open okay. it. Okay. Um, <laughs> these, I actually like them. They do have a little bit of like a tea flavor to them, but they're mostly cinnamony. Mostly cinnamony, and they mostly. Look, they look like little tea leaves. Yeah, I might eat one right now. They're not bad. What do they say about the whole fitness thing? They're like mints for fitness. Well, on what the back of here, it says if fitness is your cup of tea, minties are the perfect perfect personal trainer, slimming matcha with a tingle of cinnamon mm -hmm. to aid in keeping you fit and feeling fab. Okay. What ups? Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah, I, mean, I reach for them in my purse now that they're in there. I don't chew gum. I think gum is oh, disgusting, I so I always have like some sort of mints with me in my purse. Yeah. So I've been definitely reaching for those this week. And they say they're all natural, sugar-free, organic tea. So, mm -hmm. yeah. I don't know. It's kind of cool. It's kind of oh, cute. Yeah. It was a little freebie, so um, mm -hmm. I haven't had as many as she has, but they're not bad. Yeah. I don't think it's overwhelmingly it's not. cinnamon -y. No. Cinnamalicious? I don't know. It's cinnamon-tastic. <laughs> cinnamon-tastic. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, yeah, so that was our birch box, and that's all of, I don't know, our opinions on our products, so. Yeah, we try to sometimes get um, our birch box unveiled a little sooner in the month, as soon as we get the box, but this month it just worked out yeah. that we had, like, a full week to a week and a half to review the product, so we thought yeah. we'd just tell you exactly what we thought. And I think that we both agree that the winners out of this for us so far would be the Anastasia Brow Gel and the Ahava Foot Cream because we'll definitely use both of these until they're empty. I concur. Awesome. Okay. Thank Let you guys for watching. Let us know what you got and what you like the best. I don't know. Yes, yes you should. If, if you got Birchbox, what were yeah. your favorites? Sorry. Okay. okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs>